Hello, my name is Dallin Broomfield and I'm the owner here at Iron Chest Pest Control Marketing. Hi, I was talking to Danielle this morning and uh, she requested this video for you guys and uh, asked me to send it over to uh, the marketing email. Uh, we're not selling anything here. We're just trying to help out some businesses and uh, give back a little bit. So I'm making this video here to kind of go over your website and uh, leave you guys with some tips and tricks on how you can prove your online presence. And uh, we're just looking to get uh, some good feedback from you guys uh, so we can improve and help more pest control companies just like you. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into it. So today we're going to go over content citations and backlinks. And so contents first. So, you know, Google likes to see uh, anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page. And then each one of these uh, back pages for the service areas that you have. Uh, also, you, you want to have around 1,000 to 1,500 words. Just kind of depends on the population and how many keywords are in the area. With Charlotte, uh, there is a lot of keywords. So I would definitely uh, have as much content as I can. So a few reasons why you want to have a lot of content. One, you know, at, at Google will see you as an expert in your field with the more content that you have across your website and two it allows you to get in some of the high quality and relevant keywords in your area so I see you guys have a few you have your Charlotte NC pest control Charlotte pest control here and uh, North Carolina pest con pest experts probably another keyword there but looking at some of these keywords here uh, pest control Charlotte NC has 1200 search volume uh, and uh, another one here would be like exterminator Charlotte and C. So another 400 people are searching for that keyword every month. So those are two keywords that you guys are missing from uh, your page here. So if I was wanting to rank for those, of course, I would do the same thing you guys are already doing. I would come in and add them to my headers. I would add them to my content and I would even come in and I would save these pictures every one of these pictures would be saved as a keyword of course you guys know that google can't see pictures but when it run, the algorithm runs up against it, it can see what's behind them. And when it sees that keyword, you'll be optimized for that. So that'd be my number one tip for you guys uh, is to put about 1,500 words of content on here and get in some of those high quality and relevant keywords. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to go over is I'm going to be the Google user. So I'm coming over here and I'm going to Google Pest Control Charlotte NC. So the key to the search engine is just to get on the first page of Google as many times as possible. That way you just overall increase your conversion rate. So the first thing that you're always going to see when you Google Pest Control is you're going to see your local service ads. These are really effective to get into. It builds a lot of rapport with the customers because it's up top. It's got the green Google guarantee and it's got the reviews on it. That's going to build a lot of rapport. Um, the only really bad thing about these is that um, they, they can get a, lot of pri a little pricey at times. But you can go in, dispute leads that you don't want, and basically just teach the algorithm of what kind of leads that you want to get and how much you're willing to pay for them. Uh, so the next one, this is your PPC ads. Uh, also very effective to get into. Pro, it has its own pros and cons. A pro is it is another way to get on the first page of Google, and you can have these. Uh, you can make these ads uh, large because you can add these extensions like a picture extension. You can add these links down here, and it just makes it more uh, larger and sticks out a little bit. Uh, the con to these is they really only convert around 10 to 15 percent, and you can come into a situation where you have some of your competitors clicking on your ads. Uh, there are tools out there to prevent that, but I like to make everybody aware. Next one down, this is your local map pack. Uh, how you're going to get up in your local map pack is you want to have a consistent review pattern. You want to be responding to your reviews because Google likes to see that you're interacting with your customers. Another way to interact with your customers is to make weekly Google posts, post a bunch of products. Basically, just use the platform just like you would any other social platform. Um, but most importantly, the best way to get up into the top of the map pack is create high quality citations. So citations are just simply other web directories uh, such as uh, LinkedIn, Yellow Pages, Yelp. Uh, easy local anywhere where your business name address and phone number is listed is going to create that citation for you and the more you have the more that your authority you're going to have and rank you're going to have in the local map pack and then the next one down of course this is your organic traffic and it has all to do off of your backlinks so backlinks are just simply another website that is mentioning yours and it's linking back to you so looking at your website here so this is a tool that I use called Arabs now it is just a tool it's not 100 percent correct all the time but we can see that you guys have a UR rating of 46 domain rating of 36 
You've got 907 referring domains going back to 10,000 backlinks and you're getting found for 7,800 organic keywords. So definitely you guys have been at it for a long time, doing a lot of automation optimization to your site. So very, very good. Looking at some of these keywords here, um, you get, got a couple here for your brand name, which is really good. That means you guys are building a good brand for yourselves. And a few of these that uh, were a little unique to me, like these uh, Delta Dust labels, it looks like your MSDS PDFs on your website. Kind of rare, but um, not really the intention keywords like we're really trying to go after. So looking at some of these buyer intent keywords. So this is actually looking at the Charlotte Pest Control back page that you guys have. So Charlotte Pest Control, Pest Control and Charlotte. You can see that both of these keywords have a search volume of 500, but you guys don't really have much traffic coming in on them because you're sitting back on position 18 and position 20. So that would be another tip would be uh, to run more backlinks to this page right here after you update the content. So that way you're going to tell Google that that page has authority as well. And then that way you can get optimized and ranked for those keywords. So lastly, just looking at one of your competitors here is the Sage Pest Control in the Charlotte area. You can see they also have you know, a lot of backlinks, a lot of referring domains. They've got a lot of traffic coming into their website as well. Uh, but so looking at some of their um, keywords here, so Pest Control, Charlotte NC, Charlotte NC Pest Control. These are the really big ones in the area. So 1,800 search volume for this every month. And they've actually got 250 people traveling to their website every month uh, looking for pest control services in Charlotte, North Carolina. Anyways, I hope you found valuable information in this video. I really look forward to getting some feedback from you guys on what you thought. Thank you.